So today we are going to find out what's inside a glow stick. The first step is to cut the top off the plastic case with a pair of wire cutters. There you go. Now we'll pour out the first chemical. Looks like it is going to require me cutting off the other end also. Now, as you can see, it's dripping out. This is hydrogen peroxide. A glow stick has two parts. First, a plastic tube, and then an inner glass tube. And the plastic tube is hydrogen peroxide, and inside that is a little glass tube. And this glass tube is full of diphenyl oxalate and a fluorescent dye. When mixed with hydrogen peroxide, this produces a glow. We'll pour this into the glass tube. By breaking off the tip. Diphenyl oxalate is an oily liquid and it will react to hydrogen peroxide to produce a glow. Looks like it doesn't want to come out of the tube. I'm going to break the top to let it come out. There we go. So here we have the two chemicals that are inside a glow stick. We mix it, they will produce a glow. Now let's go to dark and test it out. Uh, so it appears that it's not glowing. The glow sticks are pretty old, so maybe the hydrogen peroxide is decayed. We can fix this by adding some fresh hydrogen peroxide, 3% solution. Now as you can see, the hydrogen peroxide does not mix with the solution because it's aquaphobic. It just forms a little ball in the bottom. Now it's producing a slight glow, which I don't know if you can see on the camera or not. So strangely a test tube was barely glowing, but a few hours later. So here we are a few hours later, and as you can see the test tube is glowing brightly. Apparently the reaction has sped up enough to produce some light. Pretty cool, huh? So this is what the chemicals from the glow stick look like under a UV light. It looks like this because there's a special fluorescent dye in a glow stick, so even a used up glow stick will look like this. Pretty cool. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and soon we'll make some more cool science videos.